Well, I'm a clinical veterinarian, which means I provide direct care to the animals, and I've been a clinical veterinarian for uh, 28 years now, uh, focusing specifically on aquatic animals, um, marine mammals uh, essentially, since uh, 1991. I've forever been passionate about the natural world. Um, I've never been interested or motivated by uh, the, uh, the business world or the machine world or the what I would consider an unnatural world, you know, uh, uh, construction and technology and buildings. And I've been very interested in the natural world and, and how natural systems work, particularly how animals work. Uh, and there's no better way uh, to try to understand that than being a veterinarian and having that privilege of working with these animals up close like that. Uh, a project that we are involved in right now with several of our partners, aquariums, is de de validating a test to determine a whale is pregnant by examining what comes out of the blowhole. We don't, so the idea is we don't even have to touch the animal now. We can determine whether it's pregnant or not, what part of its reproductive state it is. Uh, but in order for us to do that with any level of certainty, we have to be able to examine the animal every day, look at it with an ultrasound machine, take a blood sample from it, confirm that it's pregnant, confirm that this test works. Then we can take that out into the wild, again, and have a high confidence that we know what we're talking about. A part of the human experience, I think, is a diversity of opinions. And uh, there are certainly people who have uh, very strong differences of opinion. Uh, there are people who elevate marine mammals to a level uh, of uh, mysticism or they, they say that they're magical uh, and, and mysterious. Uh, uh, but, you know, elevating any species of animal above another to me is uh, sort of like elevating a particular race of people above another. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, marine mammals are phenomenal animals, but so are all animals. I mean, as a veterinarian, you know, every animal, look at dogs. Dogs are incredible what their capabilities are. You know, we have dogs who can detect tumors, who can detect uh, all kinds of different uh, problems that people create and help correct them. Uh, but they're, they are uh, not distant to most, most people's experience. And I think that's the difference. And uh, aquariums like Vancouver Aquarium, like Shedd Aquarium, like all AZA accredited institutions, help bridge that gap, bridge that gap so that uh, the distance between people and those animals is, is, uh, is not so big. And many of the people that, that visit, many of the two million that come to Shed um, uh, are from areas that they would not be, ever be able to experience, uh, say a, a white whale or a Pacific white-sided dolphin or a California sea lion uh, because they live and grow up in the, in the inner city, uh, essentially in a deficit of nature.